Hi, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to crochet these fingerless gloves. And today we are working with Tunisian crochet. And you see here, it's the simple stitch we are using today. These are very easy. It's a beginner friendly project and I will show you in a slow pace how we begin and work all the way, all the way up and how we sew them up in the end. So you can absolutely do this even if you're a beginner. These are so easy to do. It's actually just a square that we sew up in the end. So let me show you how we do it. So for the yarn, I've used this yarn. It was something I found in the closet, so I actually don't know the brand of it, but I know it's a medium weight four and I know it's wool. I can feel that and I tried lighting it on fire, you know. Um, so I will leave a link for something similar and I will also write how much yarn you will need for this and you will not be needing a lot of yarn for these gloves. Then I've also used a Tunisian crochet hook and it's a 4.5 millimeter hook and I did attach the wire today because they were a bit too wide for the, for the hook itself. And then I've used some scissors and finally a tapestry needle. First we begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain of 35. So you yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. That's two chains. We will do 35 in total. So just yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So keep doing this until you have 35 chains. Whoops. I'm just showing you how you do it. So Let's just pretend that I have 35 chains right here. You will of course do the whole 35. But when you have, you will skip the first chain, move on to this second one, this one, and then you will insert the hook into this chain. Then you yarn over and pull through this chain. So you now have two loops on your hook. Then you find your next chain on the bottom and you insert the hook into this one. Then you yarn over and pull through. So you now have three loops on your hook. So now you're just picking up stitches. So find your next chain, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert the hook, yarn over, Pull through. So we just pick up all the stitches all the way on the, until we are at the other end. So you just insert the hook in the next chain and yarn over and pull through. So this stitch or loop right here, this is your slip knot and you will never be working into this. So this is your final chain and you will also insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. So now you picked up all 34 because we skipped the first one. So you should have 34 loops on your hook. We will now make a return row. So this first one, we will just yarn over and pull through one. And for all the rest, we will yarn over and pull through two. All right. So all the way back, we will yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. All the way back. And the final two. So now you only have one loop left to go. And you'll just keep this one here. Now we will pick up the stitches again. 
And now we will pick up these vertical stitches that sits in front of the piece right here. You can see these vertical stitches right here. And we will always skip this first one all the way in the end. So we will always go to the second stitch right here. We will insert the hook in the second stitch down here in front and then yarn over and pull through. And again, the next one, we will pick this one up and yarn over, pull through. Again, next one, pick this next one up, yarn over, pull through. So just pick up all these vertical stitches across all the way and just yarn over and pull through all the way. And remember you also have a stitch all the way at the edge right here. You will also pick this one up. And that's it. That's how it looks like. We will now make a re return row just like the other one. So the first one, we will just yarn over and pull through one. And it's very important that you remember that you only pull through one the first time to make a straight edge. And then we will yarn over and pull through two for all the rest. And this return row is the same every time. And that's it. And then we will just pick up stitches again. So skip the first one and move on to the second one. So we have this vertical stitch right here. We just insert the hook in this second one. Then yarn over, pull through. We find the next one, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. So now there's nothing new for the rest of the piece. You just continue like this all the way to the top. So you continue until you think your glove is wide Ella, tall enough. So just put it here and then you can measure how long you want it to be. I will show you how long I want mine to be. But now you just continue back and forth with picking up stitches and then make a, run, a return row and then back and forth. So after I'm done with the 26 rows, I will now make the final return row. So I just do that the same way as all the other ones. The first one and then two together and two together. All the way back and then we are ready to cut the yarn just leave a bit of a tail because we need some extra to sew it up then I pull through and then we find our darning needle <clears throat> and we will now sew it up And we will fold it so you have the inside out like this so you have the wrong side out and then we will make a few stitches on top because it will be right here so we only need it to just be a little bit um, sewn up so it will hold the thumb or the place above the thumb so just a few stitches, but make sure to secure it up here because there will be a lot of pressure up here with the thumb. And I'm just giving it a few stitches for maybe one centimeter down. So 
So now I think this is very secure. And then I will just secure this yarn and cut it because I will now begin from the other end. So I secure this yarn and cut it. And then I will begin a bit further down. So there's just room enough for the thumb. So secure the yarn a bit further down. Maybe it wasn't necessary to cut it. <laughs> I think I could just lead it under the stitches all the way down. But well... So now we just need to start a bit down. I will measure it so you can see how much from the from the top. I think eight centimeters will do. Maybe that's yeah. Seven and a half centimeters. Then there's definitely room for the thumb. And that was all the way from the top. Yep. And then I will do the mattress stitch all the way down. And the mattress stitch is where you have the yarn over here and then you insert the needle through this through these two layers in between the layers and then from the inside and out the opposite side. And then you have the yarn over here. So now you will put the needle in between the layers and then from the inside and out the opposite side. And again, this way and out. Just all the way down. And we are here at the bottom right now. And I'll just give it some extra stitches just to make sure that it doesn't go up because there will be a lot of pressure on this point too. So just a bit extra. And then secure the yarn. <laughs> just like I have done a lot up here. Maybe too much. That's it. Then we can cut the yarn and then turn it and this stitch is just beautiful. And then we have it. Then we can put it on and try it. And it's actually done. <clears throat> I've just made another one also as well. So let's see about that. That's it. I really like this color, actually. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.